<laughs> Have you been naughty? I can tell. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Lady Borgia, and welcome! Today, we're going to have a lot of fun as we continue this Halloween train. Oh, I can't wait. Although, before we get into it, there is a holiday coming up that I love very much. <laughs> that I always celebrate the week before Halloween, and that is on the 23rd, my birthday! So... This is important because it'll probably be uploaded around that to celebrate my birthday as well. So we have the Queen of the Damned, the Queen of the Underworld, Demon Queen, Devil Queen, whatever, pick your choice. It's all in good fun. She carries who she's carried, the soul she's captured, skulls on her head, and she uses her horns to chuck them back, the evildoers, into the underworld. Come on, y'all know I gotta make stories up. There's, I can't do a character without it. All right, let's go have fun. I have included um, everything below in the description box that you need makeup and accessories for this character. I did make this veil, but I can tell you easily how to do it. Or you can use the one that I used last week that I did get from Amazon. They are all my affiliate links, so they are safe. And it also helps me out. Um, to bring you guys more characters and more beauty and more fantasy that I will be doing um, as you guys requested year round and with all the holiday ones coming up. Already got a list. I'm so excited and I'm going to try to get them done early like I did with Halloween. But I got sick. So wait, knock on wood. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. All right, let's go have fun. Give yourself, give yourself a thumbs up and give me one too. <laughs> Subscribe if you have not, and ding, hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Okay. Ha ha ha. Let's dive in. Okay, get your face washed, put your hair under a black wig cap, um, especially if you have platinum hair, and put on an old shirt or a low shirt, and then get that photo finish primer from Smashbox and put it all over your face. That'll keep you from staining. You don't want to be red. And then that's my Fred. He's going to help me celebrate since I'm also celebrating my birthday. He has been with me in my studio forever. And then we're going to grab some Marin paints, Beachberry and red mixed together and a three quarter three fourths inch flat brush and a sponge and we're going to start painting out the perimeter of my face and that is because i'm going to use a mixture of these water activated paints and then cream paints towards the center because the way i want her skin to look which you'll see as we go get your ears <laughs> and then you know kind of blend it down the first coating down your neck and a little wash around your shoulders Ooh, devil lines <laughs> and then we'll get back to that later get your p louise base i used number one and got that over my lids and just underneath and then grab some black and ooh, did my movable lid but you could use gel eyeliner or whatnot a creamy stick liner um and winged it out a little bit and then sugar pearls bulletproof matte black eyeshadow which is the darkest black i own and start pa packing that on with a synthetic brush and then an angled um crease brush and start smoking that out and winging out that liner and then I added some more of the P. Louise black base underneath my eyes and packed on some more of that bulletproof from Sugar Pill. If you're a beginner, you might want to use a black that's not as pigmented. It'll take longer to build up, but it'll be easier if you make a mistake. But this is a pretty easy look. And now to figure out where your wing goes, take your pupil and bring a straight line out. And that's where your wing should come to. So your eyes don't look like they're dragging down. 
because, yeah, you don't want to look dragged down. Don't do that. But that's a quick tip to always know where your wings should go. And that is Sugar Pill Loose Eyeshadows in Stella, which is a sparkly black, and then Asylum, which is the red. And we're going to be blending each other out with them. Um, first, the Stella went on, and now you can see the Asylum is being packed on. And then a crease brush synthetic one we're using to tap blend that out see there's a lot of tap 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 not much windshield wiper motion and it takes a while but you see how it's starting to blend into each other looks a mess at first yeah you see you don't want that eye you want the one with the red and there we go now that one's got the red on it and you'll see it starts to look really good although it does like many things look crazy while you're waiting and then daddy that's right, Ooh. Daddy, P. Louise. Oh, God, this stuff is sick. Pigment is silvery and NYX um, glitter primer, and I put it on with a brush and my finger. You will definitely be seeing that a lot more into my glam looks and holiday looks that are coming Ooh. up. Not this holiday, Ooh. the next holidays. <laughs> and then my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. We're going to do the brows with a brown and a black mixed together. And the basic brow isn't going to be too far off from my regular brow, although the front's going to come down a bit. But we're going to have these lines coming up. Um, they start off kind of like brow furrows, but they're more elaborate red, red. and then we're going to go into bright red. red and red for the skin we're going to go back to the eyebrows later and first we're going to do the deeper red or the regular red and then we're going to take the bright red and put it under the eyes the nose the forehead and the chin where you would normally put your brightening concealer yeah, it looks nasty. <laughs> and then take a foundation brush that is a Morphe foundation brush and blend it out. And then go back into the black or a black cream stick from Marin and pull out the line for the cheekbones. There we go. And then go back into that bulletproof and start shading above the line. Don't go below the line because then it'll look like you have a beard. But slowly start blowing out that line and shading it out. Add a little bit at the temples, but not a lot because you're not a skeleton, but we're just, we're contouring. And this is kind of an extreme cheek contour. And then go in to some special effects or just white um, powder and set the high points. And then use the Love Plus from Makeup Forever, the matte red, to set all the other red points. Or you could use the Jeffree Star um, palette to do that. And then we're going to go back into those crazy brows and start pulling them up. Yes. And as you get up towards the top, that's a 508 and the bulletproof, <laughs> me being silly. You're gonna fill in the brow, and then when you get to those elaborate brow lines, you're gonna shade to the outside of each of the three lines. There's three lines on each side, three lines on each brow. You're gonna shade to the outside of each line, as you can see, and leave the inside towards the center of the forehead clean. And as you get up towards the top, you're gonna thin out the line. So the bottom of the line will be smoked out thicker, and then it'll thin out as it goes up to the top. There, I'm just playing with the cheekbones again, whatnot. Yeah, you could definitely use the red from Blood Sugar too if you don't have Love Sick or Love Plus. Hello, I can speak today. Ooh. Okay, and then we're going to go back in with the red from the palette or um, from the cream stick and just sharpen up any of those sharp areas and then get the white and we're going to highlight the outside of each line towards the center of the forehead. Very easy. You can use that same 508 brush. Ooh. And then a 301 <laughs> drag lashes. And then we're going to use a sparkly black or regular black for the upper and lower water lines. And then go back into bulletproof and start Ooh. shading Ooh. out the nose. Ooh. And then I'm tearing up, <laughs> which is the great oh, yeah. thing about cream shadows. As you can see, she has more of a regular normal skin tone. And then we're going to contour out her nose with that. And more bulletproof for more nose contour because you got to bring her nose back or it just looks like a big red potato and 
Nobody wants a red potato for a nose. And now we're going to contour her mouth. And anytime you need to bring back that love plus or anything from um, any reds that you have to bring back um, to blow out any of the black. Um, there we go, love plus and bulletproof. And we're gonna go in with bulletproof. And then we're gonna blend that out with love plus. And just keep blending. Like I said, you could use blood sugar palette from Jeffree Star to do this too. And then we are going into Juvia's Place blush palette, the second one. And we're going to use those two shimmer shadows I went into as highlights for our Red Queen. Mostly that light pink one. I will look up the name and put it in below. But on the nose, on the Cupid's bow, more on the forehead... And then the gold from the Make It Forever palette on the Cupid's bow. And then the silver for her inner corner. I was going to use a brighter pigment, but I didn't think we need be. And now we're going to put on our top and go back into the red and beachberry mixture of the Marin water activated paints. If you don't, if you're worried about getting your top dirty, just mark where your top goes to and go back in and... Um, fill it out all right looks like it's time for wigs accessories lipstick and yeah it is oh yes and the backs of our hands all right there she is <laughs> and here we have it the queen of the underworld the demon queen the devil queen the keeper of souls yes i keep them right there between my horns as i catch them in my horns and chuck them back i eat evil and it's delicious all right guys i don't know where i'm coming up with this i hope you enjoyed this it's not Halloween yet. Although it is just days for my birthday. So happy birthday to me on October 23rd. I don't know which day I'm uploading this, but I'm going to tell myself happy birthday. I hope you have enjoyed this and um, more on the way. I can't wait. And after that, there's all kinds of stuff for the holidays, holiday characters and everything else. So she cannot have her necklace. Where is my attendant? You don't blow off your boss when she is the queen of the underworld. I mean, it's not a good idea. But hell, you know, I just have more. All right, enough of that. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Love you all. Lady Borgia. Queen of the damned. <laughs> Hold on, it's yours. <laughs>